What's up guys, Dustin Paints. In this video, we're gonna show you how to get your car ready for paint by sanding it, cleaning it, and taping it up. Here we have a 2016 Ford Explorer in ruby red. See my prepper has primed this door. We're gonna be blending the rest of this back door. Then we're gonna be blending in this front door. Unfortunately, the customer didn't wanna pay to have that dent fixed and the insurance would not cover it. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to paint over that. Sometimes in the body shop business, that's just how it happens. So yeah, we're gonna get started sanding this and show you how we sand it and get it ready for paint, tape it up. Sorry, he's blocking our primer. Remember when you're blocking, you want to sand one way, and then he's going to reverse sand the other way. He's got the guide coat on there, so we can see any low spots if there is any. Make sure it doesn't need any more fill or anything. So here he's blocking this with 320 grit sandpaper. Whenever you're blocking, you want to go in an X pattern, and you want to sand your guide coat off to ensure that you have a smooth surface with no low spots. Make sure it doesn't need any more body work. Once we get done with this, we'll run over with the DA with 600 grit, smooth it out before we paint. All right, so we got it all blocked out now. All our guide coat sanded off. We don't have any low spots or anything. So now we're gonna get our DA, sand all this down at 600 to really make it smooth before we paint. All right, so whenever you're sanding, you see we have this door open here and this door open. That's so that we don't hit this door while we're sanding, because we're not painting this quarter panel, so we don't want to hit it with our sandpaper. So you can sand the edges really nice now without having to worry about it. Got the doors all DA down with 600 grit. Now we're running over them with a gray Scotch Sprite. Just getting any other little edges and other little shiny spots that the DA can't get, like inside these door handles. And up here where the belt molding goes, sure to get those with the gray Scotch Sprite really good. After scuffing both of these doors, his arm is hurting, but we have nice smooth panels to paint and we know the paint's gonna stick and we know it's not ever gonna come back off. All right, next step, we'll blow this off, clean it before we start taping. All right, it's all sanded and scuffed. We're gonna blow it off. Okay, we're gonna start taping it up. Now before you start taping it, you wanna clean all back here behind this door. See how dirty it is. If we don't clean it, our tape might not stick very well. So we're gonna get some glass cleaner, and clean this up. Okay, now we've got this clean. We can start putting our tape on it. Now you wanna make sure it's clean in there too. See how dirty it is? So make sure to clean all these before you start putting tape on. Sawyer does a fine job prepping these cars, guys. Okay, we got our tape. Inch and a half painter's tape. We're gonna start taping the outer edge of this door. What we wanna do is just make an outline around the door and give our plastic something that we can tape our plastic to. There's no real science to this. You just kinda outline the door and tape. All these edges, so whenever we pull our plastic, we'll have the, min the window masked off. Now 
now we've got the window down, we can get our tape up in here, finish back taping. We're gonna wear this window to do it. Okay, so right here there's a little crack in between where we're gonna be painting. So we're just gonna take a piece of tape. Push it in the crack, just like that. Okay, what we're gonna do here, is we have the sticky side of our tape sticking out the back of the door. We're gonna take and tape this tape down to the quarter panel, making sure that this tape doesn't roll up onto this edge. Give it a little tug, get it away from the edge, stick it to the quarter panel. We're gonna do that anyway or this tape is overlapping the edge of the store. Okay, as you can see, we got this door all taped up, the back door. We just have a tape going around all the edges so that whenever we pull it into the booth and pull our plastic, we have something to tape it to. Okay, so right here where the front door, we're gonna take this piece of foam tape, sticky on one side, not sticky on the other. We're gonna stick it right in that gap. When you're using foam tape, you do not wanna stretch it while you're sticking it because it will come off. So just lightly stick it in there. Now when we shut that door, it'll create a seal so no trash or dirt will blow out. Now whenever we shut this door, we'll get a good seal right here. Okay, now we're gonna tape up the front door. Now we're just gonna bring this tape on across, back tape our window here, just like we did our back door. Okay, for this crack right here, we're not painting the fender, we're just blending the store. So we're just gonna put some tape on this fender so that we'll have something to tape our plastic to. Whenever you put this in, you just tuck it in. Okay, so our holes where our door handles go, we're gonna take some foam tape and I'll show you how to roll it up and stick it in there so that no dirt or anything can get out and no paint goes in. Okay, so for these holes in the door handles, we're gonna take our foam tape, this is our sticky side. We're gonna roll it up so that our sticky side is on the outside. So we're gonna roll it up and what you're gonna wanna do, just kinda stuff it in the hole. Now since the sticky side is on the outside, it's gonna make sure that, that stays sealed up and it doesn't blow out. We're gonna repeat this for the back door. Right, guys that's gonna do it we've got our car taped up it's ready to go in the booth a little recap on what we've done first we blocked down our primer with 320 grit and then we sanded the rest of this door went over the primer and sanded this door with 600 grit then we took our gray scotch sprite and got in all these edges and creases that we couldn't get to with our sander and then we cleaned it and taped it up